Yeah, I was talking to my mother on, on the telephone. She said, Brad, I saw the, the greatest movie, the nicest movie. And these are the kind of movies I think you should be doing. It was Apollo 13. And I said, well, Mom, actually, I turned that film down, although I thought it was great. And uh, where do you see the movie I turned it down for? And that was seven. There's that sort of Midwest corn-fed thing with Brad. He's from Missouri. He was born in Shawnee, Oklahoma. He is an Okie by birth, but Missourian by upbringing, really. So he has that very southern Midwestern personality about him. The family orientation that was so much a part of his upbringing has stayed with him. He sang in the choir, the church, good Baptists, although his parents actually ended up uh, non-denominational later. His father worked for a manager for a trucking company. Brad grew up knowing the value of hard work through what his father did. He wasn't as affected by popular culture as a lot of other kids. About fourth grade and that first kiss and, <laughs> and how painful it was getting to it and, <laughs> and how you ran away and but what a high you were on. Brad was always the blonde haired blue eyed boy and, and uh, he seemed to have a pretty easy go of, of getting women. You know, women that I would walk down the hall and see and think, oh gosh, it'd be so neat to have a date with her or to just stop by her locker and talk to her. And the next day I'd know, I, Brad would have already asked her out and they'd gone out on a date. Brad. Uh, had an all-American look about him and was always very courteous, would be the kind who would help the, uh, his partner with her chair. And, you know, uh, the adults basically responded very well to him. Little old ladies loved him. He wasn't into drama at all. Um, he took part in a few little things, but certainly nothing to indicate he had a passion for it. Well, it's perhaps surprising that he chose to uh, study journalism. Whether he could have had a career as a journalist, We'll never know, because I don't think he really needs to worry about that too much anymore. Well, Mizzou was such a party school that it didn't even get ranked among party schools. It was considered the professional party school. So there was always lots of Greek parties. And you pretty much had to be part of the Greek system to get any respect out of any of the women freshman year, or I should say throughout all, throughout all four years. So Brad was not only part of the Greek system, but he was also part of Sigma Chi. But when I was at Mizzou, everybody knew Brad, in spite of being a freshman. Out of 27,000 people there, everybody knew who he was. And uh, being at Sigma Chi, they had some good parties there. We should celebrate. When he made his decision to head west, it was a very sudden decision that stunned everybody because it was two weeks before he was supposed to graduate. He had one paper left to write, two credits left. At the time, um, um, it was t I was two weeks till graduation, and I had to finish some papers. And, and it just hit me. Uh, my friends were going off, and they had their jobs lined off, up, and, and a lot of them getting married. And I, what I, my my course of study didn't didn't feel right, didn't quite fit as well. And I loved movies, and it just hit me that time that well, I can go to it. I can, I'll go to it. I'll give that a try. So once that was in my mind, I was done with college. Oh, I was just gonna say, thought I'd go out and meet some of the old pals, being in town. Headed out to L.A. Brad Pitt, in a lot of ways, is the classic Hollywood success story. He came to town, he knew no one. I mean, Brad really paid his dues. When he first moved out there, he knew someone who uh, was a caretaker at an apartment uh, that was empty, so he was able to stay there for a month rent-free, which, considering he had a total of $325, was probably a good thing. Uh, and then he moved into an apartment with eight other guys. They were all sleeping on the floor in the living room, basically. it was. Uh, None of them had any money. They're all working temporary part-time jobs. Probably his worst job, which well, he said it was his worst job, was dressing up as a chicken to advertise El Pollo Loco, which is, you know, let's face it, not how anyone envisions Brad Pitt. Brad arrived in Los Angeles, and like any young actor, got any work he could. And when you look at his career, what he did early on, I mean, he was in another world, like really, like for a second. He was cast in a Levi's commercial, which was only aired in Europe. It was never seen over here which garnered him a fan base based on his look, which was kind of very James Dean-ish. His early TV roles were very much 
the kind of what they used to call guest spots that uh, any struggling actor has just hoping to get noticed and just for any kind of break at all. I think probably his first real break was in a, a series called Glory Days, named really for the Springsteen song. He did make that transition to working actor. He landed a couple of TV movies, a, a low-budget film. Cutting Class saw him um, working with someone who'd been on some level an inspiration to him, Roddy McDowell, who of course starred in the Planet of the Apes movies. He did a little part on Dallas, uh, and this is, you know, of course in the 80s, and he was just struggling, scraping by, trying to make a living, and it's, it's really astonishing that that guy who we ended up seeing in Thelma in the Weeds, you know, he just sort of, everyone was like, where's he been? And it was like, well, he, he's been like working at the restaurant, probably serving you, that's where he's been. In those early days on television, he he played younger than his age, he looked younger than his age, obviously, to be able to make it convincing. He's always played younger than, than his real age, and his, his looks have helped him play younger. It's been about 15 years that Brad Pitt has been the, the big star that he is. And I think that he really, if you talk to people who've known him, um, he's still a really good guy, very charming, he cares about his friends deeply, and he lives a very, you know, clean lifestyle. He hasn't had to go to rehab, <laughs> you know, he hasn't had the, the fat period, <laughs> or, you know, the period where he just, like, lost all control of his life, which has really become, you know, the celebrity cliché. And I think he's been able to keep it together because I think he comes from a really stable family. He has really strong connections back in Missouri. And I think that's really what grounds him, and he regularly goes back to Missouri. This isn't the stuff that you see in Us magazine or on Entertainment Tonight, but this is the real life, what he really does. Well, just a fire for some more, you know, something a little more. Not even quite sure what it is, but it's that that makes you jump. Nature